The one word I would use to describe Corman is leadership. Strong. Awesome. I am proud to be a hospital Corman because I'm working in a field of many fallen heroes. It's very rewarding being part of such a long legacy because you get to follow in the footsteps of those who once were before you. My word would be pride. Always faithful. Courageous. I'm proud to serve my country as a Navy hospital Corman. I'm honored to be a part of an organization, a part of a, a Corps that has done so much. Hospital Corpsmen are angels. Dedicated. Honorable. 115 years. I have actually been in 28 of those 115. And I can honestly say I am proud. Proud to be part of it. Uh, it feels good that you're part of a history of 115 years. Hospital Corpsmen are honorable. Protector. Unique. Being a part of the Hospital Corps has given me great pride, especially when I serve alongside my brothers, the Marines. I feel honored and extremely proud to be part of the most decorated rate in the Navy. It is an absolute privilege and honor to be part of the 115 years of history of the Hospital Corps. Hospital corpsmen are brave. Devoted. Confident. It's a privilege to take up the torch and continue the progress that our forefathers of the corpsmen have done for us. It is a privilege and an honor to be a part of the hospital corpsman legacy. A corpsman is incredible. Awesome. We are honored to be a part of this team. Hospital corpsmen today and the days to come got big shoes to fill. Since the early days of the Republic, the United States Navy has relied on enlisted service members to care for our country's sick and wounded. Throughout our nation's 236 year history, these service members have gone by many names. Lob Lolly Boy, Surgeon's Mates, and Bayman, to name a few. In 1898, with the Spanish-American War looming, Navy Surgeon General J.R. Tyrone lobbied for the need of a more structured medical component. Congress agreed, and on June 17, President McKinley signed into law the creation of the United States Hospital Corps. The establishment of the Hospital Corps created three new rates. Hospital Apprentice, Hospital Apprentice First Class, and hospital steward. In 1916, the Navy updated the hospital corps rank structure. Junior enlisted were known as hospital apprentice first and second class, while petty officers were known as pharmacist mates. During World War I, hospital corpsmen served throughout the fleet, earning particular distinction on the Western Front. Nearly 700 personal awards were awarded to corpsmen during the war, including two who received the nation's highest award, the Medal of Honor. During World War II, hospital corpsmen bravely fought aside their Marine counterparts in every major battle of the war. In 1945, pharmacist mate second class John Bradley was among the small group of Marines who raised the flag on Mount Saribachi. Throughout the Korean War, hospital corpsmen once again showed their courage and devotion to duty. All five enlisted Navy Medal of Honor recipients were hospital corpsmen. My life has but one meaning 
to save or help someone. Someday I will see before me a wounded marine, and I will think all kinds of things. But my training has prepared me for this moment. I really doubt if I will be a hero, but to that marine, I will be God. I am hoping that no one will die while I'm helping him. If so, some part of myself will die with him. Love for my fellow man is great in my book. I will try until my life is taken to help save him and any other. The Hospital Corps' commitment to Vietnam started as early as 1959, when corpsmen were stationed at the U.S. Embassy's dispensary. In 1965, Navy Hospital Da Nang opened its doors. Nearly 500 corpsmen were stationed there, and at its peak in 1968, the hospital cared for more than 24,000 patients. Hospital corpsmen showed their versatility during Vietnam, serving at sea aboard hospital ship USS Repose and USS Sanctuary, embedding themselves with Marine artillery, air and infantry units, or serving with SEALs and Marine reconnaissance units. In the early 1980s, corpsmen served in Beirut as part of a multinational force on a peacekeeping mission. Soon, however, the peacekeepers themselves became targets. In May of 1983, a truck bomb exploded at the 1st Battalion, 8th Marines headquarters. The blast killed 241 Americans, including 15 hospital corpsmen. The 1990s saw corpsmen facing both bullets and answering humanitarian calls for help. During the Persian Gulf War, more than 6,000 corpsmen reservists were called to active duty, more than any other reserve group. Corpsmen around the world made preparations to help their shipmates and receive casualties. Following the Persian Gulf War, hospital corpsmen were part of a U.S. force charged with providing humanitarian assistance and stability to Somalia. Throughout the past decade, corpsmen have once again served on the front lines in operations Iraqi Freedom and Enduring Freedom in both support and combat roles. Today, the hospital corps is more than 20,000 strong. Corpsmen are deployed worldwide in support of both humanitarian and combat missions. Throughout the past 115 years, corpsmen have unselfishly heeded the call, Corpsmen Up, often while putting their own lives at risk. With 22 Medal of Honor recipients in its ranks, the Hospital Corps holds distinction as the most decorated corps in the Navy. In addition to personal awards, 20 Navy ships have been named in honor of Hospital Corpsmen. The Hospital Corpsmen celebrating 115 years of selfless service and sacrifice. I solemnly pledge myself before God and these witnesses to practice faithfully all of my duties as a member of the Hospital Corps. I hold the care of the sick and injured to be a privilege and a sacred trust and will assist the medical officer with loyalty and honesty. I will not knowingly permit harm to come to any patient. I will not partake nor administer any unauthorized medication. I will hold all personal matters pertaining to the private lives of patients in strict confidence. I dedicate my heart mind and strength to the work before me. I shall do all within my power to show in myself an example of all that is honorable and good throughout my naval career. <laughs>